Welcome to safetyman.co. Be ready with Safety Man on RVN TV, be ready with Safety Man podcast, and be ready with Safety Man on YouTube, which is you'll find this video. Young girls and young boys, but mostly young girls, going away to college for the first time, away from their parents, away from that protective shell that the high school and their parents offered for them. <clears throat> what do we have to consider? First thing we want to consider is the most recent tragedy that just happened, it's ride sharing, Uber, or Lyft. They're making sure that they try to put an illuminated sign in the cars that come and pick you up, but don't trust that. The app is pretty active as far as all the information that it has. So pay attention to the app, watch when your car arrives, get the make and model, go up and ask who you are. Ask the driver, who are you picking up? If they're a true Uber or Lyft driver, they will know your name. Make sure you have a buddy system everywhere you go, especially you younger, inexperienced partiers, boys, girls, whatever. Don't go it alone. Take somebody with you and make sure you guys are responsible for each other the whole time you're out. Watch each other's drinks when you go to the bathroom. Date rape drinks are definitely a thing. They still do it. They can put Rohypnol, GHB, or any other substance into a drink when you're not watching it or even when you're just barely paying attention for it. And it can slowly render you incapable of making a decision or protecting yourself or consenting to some sort of activity. And they will make a guise that you're sick, take you to another location, and unfortunately that's where the assault can happen. You'll wake up, probably not have any memory of it, although you'll know something happened. Again, the best way to prevent that is always be in control of your drink, always see your drink. Don't take strange drinks that the bar bartender didn't hand directly to you. And friends, girlfriends, groups, make sure somebody's always watching the drinks if you have to go dance or make that group run to the bathroom. One final thing is just walking alone, going from place to place, especially if you're in a foreign city where the locals want to come up and interact with you and you're not quite sure if they're taking you to a cool place or not. If it's not in your map, if you didn't hear about it, it's probably not worth going that time. If they're saying, hey, just down this alley, just down this street is a cool bar, we'll get you girls in for free because you're pretty, you're saying all the right things, you can go there next Friday, Google it, ask somebody else about it and find out what's up with it. You don't need to go down into a dark alley with some locals and you don't have any idea where you're going. Use your phone, use your friends, use your brain, be ready, be safe, be prepared, have these conversations with your parents, have these conversations with some upperclassmen that have may gone to this college before. If you have an older brother, sister, cousin that's in college or just went through college, seriously, sit down with them. Find out some of the things that people are doing, good things, bad things, fun things, the easiest way to learn, get around campus, but also how to protect yourself. Finally, I strongly suggest that you get with a competent self-defense instructor, a competent self-defense instructor. You can reach out to me, safetyman.co. We'll get you set up with a few moves and a few pieces of equipment that can make the difference if you're attacked on campus. Safetyman.co, be ready, 